spoiler warning that this podcast may spoil all published and unpublished Hassan Replace and Fire novels and all aired episodes of Game of Thrones. So welcome to Vassals of Kingsgrave. I am your host, Glenn Dago Shrivers from the podcast Face and Fire Forums. So a new position has opened up on the small council for the title of Master of Trivia and our contestants today are vying for that coveted spot. Uh, granted, when we say Master of Trivia, we mean most knowledgeable from a small subdivision of a tiny podcast. <laughs> but it's a relish title all the same. But let's meet our contestants. Hi, I'm Claire. I go by Dark Sister 24. Uh, hi, this is Duncan, also known as Valkyrus on the forums. Hi, this is Hannah. I'm Shadow Baby on the forums. Hi, this is Jed, Jedi White Dark on the forums. And welcome to y'all. Hope that y'all enjoy your time today. And what I would say to those out there that are listening, then why don't you play at home, get a scorecard, try and um, play against the players, and let us know what your score was on Facebook and YouTube. So round one, you will be asked a series of 20 questions, and the person to buzz in first and give the correct answer will be awarded 100 dragons to the total. But we are the extra attention to accuracy as that's very important as if a correct answer is not provided then the first person to get the wrong answer will have 100 dragons deducted from the total so you've got the least shocking lack of knowledge yeah okay (laughs) to the (laughs) farm i'm looking at my dragon overdraft already i think What was the title of the sixth episode of season six? Anna. Blood of my blood. What was the cost of the Battle of the Bastards episode? Oh, unfortunately, you all got that question wrong. It was $10 million. Oh, my God. (sighs) But, Jed, as you got that wrong, then you'll have 100 points deducted. You were the first person to get that wrong. (laughs) The Waif actress Faye Margie appeared in which 2014 Golden Globe nominated and BAFTA winning LGBT movie? Still Alice. Name the ca- oh, that's incorrect. It was Pride. Damn it. Oh. Name the character confirmed to be killed by Brienne in the season 6 opening episode. Jed. I think it was Stannis. An episode of season six and a number one hit for Alicia Keys share what title? (laughs) Probably not Battle of the Bastards. (laughs) Claire? Yes, no one. One Well done. It was no one indeed. The big US number one from 2007. It's probably the only question I'm going to get right. (laughs) (laughs) Ian McShane starred as a religious zealot while run by God in which medieval historical drama miniseries? Duncan. Yes. Pillars of the Earth. Yara Gwajami actress Gemma Whelan starred in which sitcom to commemorate the 400-year death day anniversary of William Shakespeare? What's the answer? Upstart crew. It job? was indeed. <laughs> Which episode of season six has been the most watched episode by network ratings? Claire. Oh, that was a guess. The Winds of Winter. That's right. The Winds of Winter. Ah. This next one's a bit more difficult. Which episode of season six has been the least watched by network ratings? Oathbreaker. Oh, <laughs> incorrect. So you would lose 100 no. dragons. YouTube star and Game of Thrones impressionist Steve Love guest starred and was brutally murdered by which character? Duncan. Oh, that was a complete guess. The Hound. How many times... Has Arya snuck in to watch the War of the Five Kings play? Claire. Three. Which two dire wolves are still alive by the end of season six? Duncan. Nymeria and Ghost. 
and that ties your level with Claire, so it's heating up. What does Tyrion say in the Meronese's tongue in season six, episode one? Claire. Yay! Can I eat your baby? Oh, this is a tough one, I think. Of the ten episodes of this season, which episode was not written by Brian Cogman or Dave and Dan? Claire. Uh, episode eight. Oh, that was incorrect. It was episode two, Home. Sam's brother, Dickon, <gasps> played which obnoxious character in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince? Oh no, no, this is... <laughs> the obnoxious <laughs> character doesn't really narrow it down, does it? I know. Oh, but I, I, I know this. Is it uh, one of the Slytherins? I don't know. Oh my gosh. A potential love interest of Hermione. Oh my gosh. No. <sighs> no idea. I should know this too because I swear to God my husband watches <laughs> these movies like every single day. Oh, and the time has elapsed, which means you all lose 100 dragons. No. Oh. No. Where was that in the rules? I just made it up. Oh, good. <laughs> just made it up. You're going to be able to get a lot of dragons, buddy, into this. The answer was yeah, Cormac slug- McLagan. No, I would have never. No, never would have got that. What is the name of Sam Tarley's sister? Jed. Carly Tarley. How many total episodes have now been aired of Game of Thrones since it began? Duncan. Uh, 60. That's it, 60. Six seasons, 10 episodes per season. After episode 10 of this series, what has been the second longest episode of the show history? Hannah. The Watchers on the Wall. That's correct, from season four. <laughs> what was the ratio of Ramsay's army to John's army? Duncan. Uh, I think two to one. I think he says he's got 5,000 and they have half of that. Now, final <laughs> question of the lightning round before it moves on to multiple choice. Which huge political figure requested to watch season six for everyone else? <laughs> Claire. Obama. That's it. <laughs> okay, it looks like Claire and Duncan are joint leaders, mm. but Claire has more positive points than <laughs> deduction points. <laughs> I'll see if Claire's in the lead just now. And second, Duncan. Then Hannah. Then fourth is Jeff. We have now entered round two, which is multiple choice. So each player will be given a list of six categories of ten multiple choice questions each. And will earn 200 dragons for each correct answer. So Claire, as you are in the lead... Then you can, um, of course, choose first. And your categories are actors, fandom, book characters, TV show characters, quotations, and finally, House Allegiance. TV show characters? Oh, yep, perfect. What have you thought of season six? Are you excited for season seven? Uh, Yeah. I have actually. What's been the highlight from this season? I I I feel like my favourite episodes were the um, probably the first the first three episodes. So TV show. Here we go. You should have like a little envelope opening sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Stark was featured this season, but when was he last seen? A season two. B, season three, or C, season four. 
going to go for B, season three. Just thinking of, um, so Bran wasn't in the whole of season five. And then I guess season four for Bran was him making it to the Three-Eyed Crow from in the north. So probably season three. And correct, it was season three. Yay. Well done. But you earn yourself a nice little air nurse of 200 dragons from that. Daenerys runs into which cow who leads her to V.S. Dothrak? Is it A. Cal Mono? B. Cal Moro? Or C. Cal Jacko? I'm going to go with B. Cal Moro because I think because that's the only name that kind of stands out to me. I, I feel like Cal Jacko comes from probably something in the books but um yeah it's gonna be B Carl Moro this next question is not exactly based on facts but more on opinion (laughs) Sam Tarly is most like which Disney character (laughs) A Belle from Beauty and the Beast B. Ariel from The Little Mermaid or C. Arthur from Sword in the Stone I'm going to have to go with A. Belle number one because she is my favourite Disney character and because they both like books and he did like that library so yeah and that's correct well done (laughs) Who's the beast then? That was what. Ale as old as time. <laughs> How many bastards did Robert have? A. 12. B. 16. Or C. 20. I think it's C. Just because, if I remember correctly, the Maggie, the frog prophecy. I think, I think she said that, yeah... Okay, two, and, two and twenty, two and ten. Sorry, I think. Yeah. C. You are on a roll, Claire. That is oh, C is correct. If only I could do this in my actual exam. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This is far more important if you know. <laughs> Dragons that stay here. Fake history is way more important. <laughs> Where do the Dothraki believe your spirit goes if you are burnt? A. The Shadowlands B. The Nightlands or C. The Spiritlands Uh, And this is where my good luck ends. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for A. The Shadowlands just because it just reminds me of um, a shy... I don't know why. Just this random guess. A. The Shadowlands. And unfortunately that's incorrect. (laughs) That loses you 200 dragons. So the the Shadowlands is a C.S. Lewis idea, but it is the Nightlands, which is the correct answer. Uh Who killed Beric Dondarrion first? A. The Hounds. B, the mountain, or C, Arya Stark? I was literally just listening to this chapter last night, so I'm going to go with B, the mountain. I think he, um, does he, like, stab him in the eye or something? How old was Theon Greyjoy when taken as a ward of House Stark? A, 8, B, 10, or C, 12? Um, B. Oh, great. <laughs> Sorry. No, perfect. B is the correct answer. Which returning character has not been seen in the longest time based on number of episodes since he was last shown on screen? A. Braun. B. The Blackfish. Or C. The Hound. I'm going to say B. 
Blackfish because the last time I've done season six was probably around the time of the Red Wedding. So be the Blackfish. And you are doing remarkably well on this round. That's correct. What is the full name of the giant co- commonly known as One One? A. <laughs> Do one big one dar one B one B one dar one wig one or C one mar ton do one. Okay, let's not see. Um I'm going to go with A, One Word Wonder One, because it's the one that sounds the most poetic. And that is correct. (laughs) Final question that you have of your multiple choice rounds. Which of these speaking characters did we last see get killed by wildfire before season six? A... Devon Seaworth, B. Stefan Seaworth, or C. Mathis Seaworth? I'm going to say Stefan. B. Oh, and that is incorrect. It was Mathis. <coughs> but still, very good uh, round clears. And then we move on to Duncan. So, the, the same categories again. So you have actors, fandom, Book characters. Mm, I might go book characters. <sighs> ah, excellent. <laughs> Thanks, Duncan. <laughs> Stole it out. Oh, uh, same question to you. So, how have you felt about the season and any highlights that you've had from the season so far? Um, oh, well, the final two episodes I loved. Like, the first, most of the season I've sort of been lukewarm on. I thought it was kind of underwhelming. I thought there was a lot of just, like, treading water and filling time. Um, just because it didn't feel like they knew really where to go. So we had the whole thing with the the river on. That kind of just seemed to go nowhere. But um, but I really loved the battle of the bastards. I thought that was awesome, especially the... The, when the camera zooms into the fight and it's following Jon Snow around and you see all the piles of bodies like that was really visceral and gory and, and horrible which is what a battle should be and the final episode was amazing I got like sh- for the first time in a while I got like shivers up my spine especially with like the King in the North and Cersei's coronation um, and highlights uh, I loved seeing Sansa and Jon together again I thought that was really nice um, when they're on the battlements of Winterfell and she's like you know a white raven came, winter has come, and they both look up at this guy and they smile, like that was really nice. And uh, Hold the Door, that was a pretty pretty big highlight as well. So, yeah, generally, po- like, lukewarm overall, but like still, the last two episodes got me really excited for, for the uh, next season. What surprised me the most is that I said last, last time last year that it would go downhill at this point, but it hasn't. <laughs> it's still going up and up, and, you know, the, uh, the highest rated episode has been the last episode of the uh, the season, um, as in of the show history. Yeah, it's just, it's nice to, because like season five especially, it was just like this really grim death march, it felt like everyone was just getting there, getting tormented constantly, whereas this, this season felt a lot more hopeful, and you actually got some wins for the for the good guys. Like seeing the Starks retake Winterfell, that is like a feel-good moment of the year, that was so good. And, so, and, and even like the following episode where you see the Stark flag on, in the credits again over the, the little uh, digimated Winterfell, that was that was the best. Your first question. Which of these nicknames has Arya not used? A. Bommy B. Mercy or C. Lark? Well, Lark's the one that jumps out immediately, but I don't recall her ever using Lommy either, but she might have just uh, offhandedly. Uh, but I'll say C, Lark. And that's correct, C. But Lomi, I'm sure Lomi was used season two as one of her nicknames. Okay. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> now you've got, got some doubts in me that maybe she Und- didn't. <laughs> undermining the credibility of the game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which location did Daenerys purchase her Unsullied? A, Astapor. B, Yonkai. Or C, Carf. Uh, that was 
Astapor, I believe. That's the first... That would have been the first slaver city she visited. Um, yeah, Astapor. And that's correct. Perfect. Which of these swords are the odd one out? A. Widow's Veil. B. Longclaw. Or C. Oathkeeper. Um, well, Widow's Veil and Oathkeeper were derived from one sword. So I guess they're kind of... So maybe... And I guess Longclaw was... So Longclaw is much older, so that, that would have, that's, that's hundreds of years old, whereas Oathkeeper and Widow's Whale well are only a, a year or so old. Um, but I'm trying to think. But I think um, Longclaw has something different with the handle. Like, isn't it considered a bastard sword, whereas the other two are? I, I'll just say Longclaw because I think there's two things that are distinguishable from the other. How many bastards did Robert have in the book show co- in the book uh, context? Okay. A ten, B fourteen, or C sixteen. <laughs> Was that a beer being opened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy Fourth of July, everyone. <laughs> happy Independence Day. We've got one American at least. <laughs> is it is it happy for you guys? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I've seen yeah, bygones. Um, well, sixteen's the one that jumps out to me. I don't know why. I'm trying to like run through all the bastards. Um, but I can't. I probably couldn't even make ten off the top of my head. Yeah, I'll just say I'll just have a guess and say sixteen. See. You are kneeling, Miss Duncan, that's correct. Ugh. Hail Mary. How many courses are served at the wedding of Tommen and Marjorie? A, 7, B, 70, or C, 77? I'm pretty sure it's 77. Uh, just, yeah. Just from memory. Oh, oh that is incorrect. Oh. It was Joffrey and Marjorie that had uh, 77. It was seven, right. I, 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 read, I read Joffrey instead of Tommen. It was just seven, was it? Just Yep, just seven yeah, for right. Tommen and Marjorie. Whose house words are as high as honour? A, the Freys, B, the Arons, or C, the Tyrells? That is the Arons, because um, they have the... Falcon Sigil, so they're all about up in the air honour, I guess, so high as high as honour is the Aarons. Well done. Whose horse is named Smiler? A. Rob, B. <laughs> Fion, or C. John? Um, I'm pretty sure it's Theon, because he's like the, the evil jester of the series. Um... C is written twice, by the way. <laughs> um, I do. <laughs> that's all right. But I'm trying to think what brand... Because there was another horse dancer, but I think that might have been Brand's... Um, I'm try, maybe... Or did Theon use Brand's horse? can't quite think. I'm pretty sure it's Theon, so I'll, I'll go B, Theon. I don't know how you would have managed to guess that, but that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Duncan. Thanks. As of the end of the last published book, who is the Hand of the King? A. Kevin Lannister B. Mace Tyrell or C. Randall Tarley Well, I don't know, is this a trick question? Because Kevin Lannister... Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, wait. No, no, I'm doubting myself. Who's Hand of the... What's Kevin Lannister's all? I'm pretty sure it's Hand of the King. Uh, at the end of the fifth book, but he dies, so is he still considered Hand of the King? Um, Randall Tarly is... I think he's Lord of War, or Master of War. Mace Tyrell. Wait, no, Mace Tyrell was... Because he made that hand thrown. That's it. Sorry, I'm all mixed up. What's Kevin Lannister's role at the end of book five? Is he just a council at a tournament? Oh, 
terrible. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mace Tyrell because he had that that um, that wooden that special hand throne sitting in his garage for the last couple of years. So I'll go Mace Tyrell. Oh, and you saved yourself at the last minute. That's correct. <laughs> Well done, done good. What's Kevin Lannister? Does he have a title? Or is he just... Well, he would be the Lord Protector. Lord Protector, okay. Which of these characters does not have a chapter named after them? A. Barristan Selmy. B. Tyrion. Or C. Asha. Hmm. I, d- I wouldn't have thought Barristan or Asha had a chapter named after them. Because all of Asha's chapters are like the Kraken's daughter and things like that but all Barrison's chapters are all like the King's Breaker and um I'll take a guess and say Barristan and that is incorrect unfortunately Barristan does have most of his chapters which have titles but the last chapter he has is called Barristan Uh, And it is Asha that doesn't have any chapters named after her. uh, And the final question, Duncan, who is Eamon, sorry, who is Eamon Frey's wife? A, Black Walter, B, Jenna Lannister, or C, Fat Walter? I believe that's the Lord of Riverrun, and his wife is Jenna Lannister, B. Congratulations, that's correct. <laughs> Huzzah. Well done. A very strong showing. Well, moving on to Hannah, who is first. Okay. Um, it is. Can we choose any of those six categories or only the ones left? Just the ones that are left. So that would okay. be actors, fandom, quotations, or house of legions. Okay, then I will go ahead and I will choose actors. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll take <laughs> the team. I will fall on that grenade for you. Just um, some warm-up questions. So how have you felt about this season of the show? Are you still enjoying the show? Uh, yeah, I mean, I really love the show. Just, you know, it's, uh, it's Game of Thrones, you know. It's a song of ice and fire, so I think they could really have had another season five debacle and I would still be a super fan. Um, I liked it much better than season five. I thought they really, in a lot of ways, turned it around. So overall, I was pretty satisfied. Um, They did just some kind of weird decisions with book changes and character arcs, really like just holding time or like, you know, killing time like Tyrion and, the uh, you know comedy routine over there in Marine is a, a little flat for me. Aria and the murmurs thing was it, it just seemed like they were trying to fill time and didn't care for those things. But uh, one of my favorite scenes I think from this season is Tyrion's monologue with the dragons. I just it really reminded me of a lot of that inner POV stuff we get from Tyrion that's just dripping with pain and uh, it's kind of his pathetic circumstance at the outset of life, but he's just a really brilliant and inwardly beautiful man, and I liked how they got to utilize Peter Dinklage as a phenomenal actor in that scene and just also that just childlike desperation for a dream that you want and getting to see that play on screen with a situation where he's in great danger, you know, no matter how you slice it. And the tension there for me was really big. And uh, I just, I like that moment a lot and I hate everything else they had him do <laughs> this season. Um, so yeah, overall, I think they had some really outstanding moments and some not so shiny moments, but um, the last two episodes were really solid. And overall, my very, very favorite thing was the music this season just killed it. They're great every season, but the soundtrack this year was um, just unparalleled. So, 
I can certainly Honestly. agree with that, and I'm glad that you enjoyed the the show so much. Obviously, as there were some criticisms, but I guess um, season, I can agree with that. That episode eight, uh, nine and ten really got me hyped up for season seven as well. First question for yourself: Aidan Gillen appears in which of these series of movies? A. The Hunger Games. B. The Maze Runner. Or C. Divergent. Okay, so this is a great question, and I actually have read all the Hunger Games books and uh, watched the movies, so I know it is not the Hunger Games, and had you asked me this a couple of weeks ago, I definitely wouldn't have known what the hell out of the two this would be, but um, B, The Maze Runner was on HBO, and I was sick with bronchitis last week and home from work and caught it. And so I know that it is be the maze runner. And actually he appears in the second one, the scorch trials. Oh, perfect. Hannah. Unfortunately, there's no bonus points, but if there were, you would get. Yeah. Bonus mm. <laughs> and which of these productions did Natalie Dormer remain unmarried? A. Casanova, B. The Scandalous Lady W, or C. The Tudors? Crap. <laughs> well, I know that she played the great historical temptress Anne Boleyn in The Tudors, which is the only one of these two I've seen. But they get married in The Tudors. So I don't friggin' know. I'm going to throw out a guess of B, the scandalous Lady W. Oh, unfortunately not. It's A, Casanova. So Dean Charles Chapman, who plays Tommen, played a different character in season three. Which character did he appear as? A, Alton Lannister. B, Martin Lannister. Or C, Oliver. Hmm... I'm going to reason this out as the last correct answer was A, so I'm going to guess you probably changed it up and picked B or C as this correct answer, which is how I failed most of my tests in school. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go with B, Martin Lannister. I'm hoping that no one else picks up on my multiple choice strategy. <laughs> It doesn't always work. I've done it before, it doesn't. and, and uh, it's, it's not always the greatest technique. Which of these characters also appeared in the highest grossest movie, grossing movie worldwide? A. Gwendolyn Christie, B. Roderick Cassell, or C. Littlefinger, i.e. the actor that played them, which, which has acted <laughs> in the highest grossest, grossing movie worldwide? Okay, so um, even if A had been written as Brienne and not the actual actor's name, because she's the odd one out here, I would still say she's Captain Phasma in The Force Awakens. And I'm going to go with A, Gwendolyn Christie. Oh, that is incorrect. Shut your mouth. <laughs> no. Is it Dark Knight Rises? Because, because I... So... Star Wars is the third highest grossing movie worldwide, but Roderick Cassell uh -huh. played a little small role in Titanic, uh, which has grossed more. Oh, gnarly. How many actors, including voices from the Game of Thrones series, have also starred in the Harry Potter series? I'm going to use my... Uh my narrowing it down strategy and also I would lean probably toward the highest number here which is 11 and we haven't had a C correct answer so I'm going <laughs> to go with C 11 Name the actor or actress that has appeared in Harry Potter Game of Thrones and E4's Misfits A. E1 Rion B. Michelle Fairley or C. Bronson Webb Oh, for frick's sake. 
I'm leaning toward Ian Rowan because he's young, so that might fit in with, like, a kid's show, unless there's, like, a mom, like, Michelle Fairley being a mom. Have no friggin' clue. (laughs) I'm gonna go with Ian Rowan. Oh, and that is incorrect. Damn it. Ian Rowan did have one of the leads in the show, and he has, of course, been... Ramsey Bolton in Game of Thrones, but it was Michelle <laughs> Fairley who has been Hermione's mother. Away. Also, um, Catelyn Stark, and also one of the leads in Misfits. She played the mother of that lead. Yeah. If it was only a shameless question, I might have been. <laughs> the character of Billy Elliot has been played by which of these Game of Thrones actors? A. Isaac Hempstead Wright B. Jack Gleason or C. Dean Charles Chapman Oh, that is a good question Well, right here I'd kind of lean toward Jack Gleason because his time's been freed up for the longest being off the show but he's also like university age and not really in the industry anymore. I'm going to go with probably the wrong answer, <laughs> which I'm going to say Isaac Hempstead, right? A. Oh, and that is wrong. <laughs> ah, golly. It was C, Dean Charles Chapman, also Thomas, uh, Tom and Baratheon, but he played... Billy Elliot in the West End version back in 2009. How many mm. actors from Game of Thrones also starred in Downton Abbey? A, three, okay. B, five, or C, seven? I have never seen Downton Abbey. Me neither. <laughs> uh, it's like sacrilege over here. It's huge over here. Um... I want to lean toward the middle ground of five, which is probably wrong. And it is. (laughs) 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 Um, Sorry, Hannah. It is free. So, Mark Addy appeared as Fred Flintstone in which movie? (laughs) A. The Flintstones. B. The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas. Or C, the Jetsons meet the Flintstones. I'm probably going to get this wrong, like everything else. But I really feel like I remember him being in the horrible disaster that was the Flintstones' Viva Rock Vegas. Yay, that's correct. (laughs) Yes, oh my god, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) The final question for you, Hannah. And now that I realise it's very unfair for a non-British person. <laughs> but yes, uh, which of these actors have not been in Doctor Who? A. Go ahead. Maisie Williams. B. Harry Lloyd. Or C. Mackenzie Crook. To geek culture over here, I'm going to be shunned for having never watched Doctor Who. I... I don't know how popular it was over here until a few years ago, and then it just seemed to be everywhere, and I have no access to it, so I wanted to wait till I could actually watch it. I've been putting this off. Um, total Stab in the Dark, C, Mackenzie Crow. Well, you ended on a high note, so that's correct. <laughs> Yay! Ugh, that was brutal. <laughs> well, Jed, you are our final contestant, so... Uh, finally on to yourself Um, how have you felt about Game of Thrones this season I think it's been fantastic I've really enjoyed it Um, it's just amazing seeing this sort of fancy world on TV and you know I just just go by the gut feelings I don't like to analyse it too much but just like every episode I've I've really enjoyed I I didn't watch last season as it came out because I was hoping the book was going to come out uh, and I really missed being part of the uh, experience and because we all watch it together as a family and, and then sort of 
listening to the podcasts with you guys and stuff and I just really felt out of the loop. So when George made his announcement that it wasn't going to be out before this series, I thought I can't go through that again. So I got the DVDs, watch series five. I quite enjoyed that, although, you know, all the uh, bad bits have been pointed out, but uh, some of the big bits I quite liked, the main plot points. But I think this season's been excellent. It's been another step up. It's been great sort of not knowing what's going to happen. And uh, There's been some brilliant episodes at the uh, Hold the Door was fantastic, and then the last two episodes are just amazing. So of the categories you have left, uh, those would be fandom, quotations, or house allegiance? Well, uh, I'm glad I didn't get actors. <laughs> I've got seven on Claire's, seven on Duncan's, and three on the actors and Hannah's, and two of them are lucky guesses. Um, I'm going to go for, it's between quotes and allegiances, I'll go for quotes. So, with this round, I'll give you a quote, and you tell me which character said this quote. Catelyn Stark hated me, just like you hate me. A. Tyrion Lannister. B. Jamie Lannister. Or C, Theon Greyjoy. Hmm, not much to go on there. I'm going to go for A, Tyrion. Just to get... Oh, that is incorrect. The uh, the quote, I think it was from The Broken Man, when um, Edmure is in hostage, and it's a quote from Jamie Lannister. Are they all from the show or something? From the well, box? fun fact, these are all quotes from... So there's ten quotes, and each of them are from one of the episodes of this season. All right. So all from this uh, season six of Game of Thrones. All right. But not in order. Okie <laughs> dokie. I killed my husband because it felt good to be rid of him. A. Lady Crane. B. Cersei Lannister. Or C. <laughs> Yara Greyjoy. Uh... I think that was Cersei, wasn't it, in the last one when she's uh, waterboarding Septon Unilla, I think. Rings a bell. Yeah, we'll go for Cersei, I think. I had no love for him. That was no secret. A. Tyrion Lannister. B. Sansa Stark. Or C. Alistair Forn. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um... I think I'm going to go for C, Alice of Thorn. I think it might have been when he was, I don't know, probably before he got executed, I should think. I missed your name, T. A, Sansa Stark. B, Littlefinger. Or C, Jon Snow. <laughs> shot in the dark I'll go for little finger I think and that is a quote he says to Robin Aaron that is, that is correct is it? Oh. Ah. <laughs> well done you've moved beyond That's negative not. points <laughs> probably not for long number five I should have executed all of them a. Cersei, B. Jamie, or C. Tommen? Um, hmm, I think, I don't know, again, this is all pretty much guesswork, but it sounds like Tommen, and they had all the uh, kerfuffle, shall we say, the Great Sept. I think, yeah, I'll go for that. Yeah. Once said, the true history of the world is the history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Was that A, the High Sparrow, B, Tyrion, or C, Miss Andy? Uh, I think... I think it's one of the Marine characters. So I think it's either Tyrion or Miss Sandy. Because, uh, yeah, didn't Miss Sandy take a, the mickey out of Tyrion, that a wise man? Hey, which one, which one, which one? Uh, I'll go 
for me Sunday. Oh, your roll ends, unfortunately. That uh, is incorrect. It was Tyrion. It was Tyrion, yeah. I remember they both said something about a wise man. There are many things we've never done. A. Daenerys, B. Yara, or C. Arya. Hmm, many things we've never done. That sounds like Yara to me. Maybe when the king's moot. I think. I can't think of anything else. The king's moot is one of the low points for me this season, by the way. <laughs> it's like a high school election. Oh, it's desperate. And he, he comes up and says, oh, I killed your father. Why didn't they, why didn't they just kill him then? Why, did, why wasn't there a fire? Right there. I, I don't kin, understand that. Kin slaying is in vogue this season. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> anyway, uh, probably wrong anyway, but that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Yara. It's not an easy thing admitting to yourself what you really are. A. Cersei. B. Marjorie. Or C. The High, the high Sparrow. Hmm. Doesn't sound like something Cersei would ever say. I think. Sounds like one of the Mar- Marjorie's and the Sparrows chats. But which one would have said it? Go for. Go for the High Sparrow. C. Oh, unfortunately not. It was Marjorie <sighs> who said that to Tommen. Oh. Our two ancient houses face collapse because of you and your stupidity. A. Cersei, B. Marjorie, or C. The Queen of Thorns. Ooh, that sounds like classic Queen of Thorns to me. Um, yeah, was it when she had a dig at Cersei? I'll go with that anyway. Yeah, I'll go with C. Queen of Thorns. Final question. Did you really think <laughs> that cunt would fight you man to man? A. Sansa, B. Davos, or C. Torment? <laughs> well, we always have a laugh when the C word comes out on the show. <laughs> Classic. Um, I can't imagine it'd be Sansa. <laughs> It's got to be Tormund, isn't it, surely? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with Tormund. Oh, congratulations, Jed. That is correct. And with the end of the the multiple choice round, Clear is in the leads with 1,500 dragons. Duncan is shortly behind with 1,300 dragons. Jed with 900 dragons. And Hannah owes us 100 dragons. <laughs> oh, Hannah, oh. oh, you've got his money. <laughs> but fear not, the, the next round should cause some swings. So heating things up and giving everyone a chance to win. This category will allow you to earn 500 dragons for each correct answer. So I will present the answer, and each player presents their answer in the form of a question. So Jeopardy style, and um, no, so it's called Show Canon Jeopardy, so when you're thinking of your answer, think of the show context. This would be lightning round like before, so there's, there's ten questions. This is the prized possession of the Ironborn, and the person to sit upon it is governed through a king's boot. Jed. What is the sea stone chair? Wait, no, is, that's right. not book canon. That's not show canon, though, is it? It's the salt throne. Oh, yes, yeah, show, isn't it? We're going oh, out of generosity, we won't take anyone's points away for this round. So you just stay as you are, Jed, with your, your points. Renamed for the show, known as Hodar, grandson of old nan his name is willis on the show was that a question 
uh, what is, <laughs> is Willis? That... Sorry. <laughs> Who is Will? I'm sorry. That's the... <laughs> that beard no. did not help, as a matter of fact. <laughs> actor who played a despised character but was once in the running to be John Snow. Hannah. Who is Ian Rowan who plays <laughs> Ramsey Snow? Oh, oh <laughs> perfect. Three times betrothed, twice married, and once widowed. Duncan. Uh, I don't know how to phrase it. Who is Sansa? That's it. The last male heir was murdered. The other male and female heirs are rumoured to be dead. A bastard has assumed the lead role and a true-born female heir also lives. Yes, Duncan. Um, who is Jon Snow? <coughs> it is, who is the heir to House Stark? Heartsbane, which was stolen by Sam. Duncan. Consistent letter. Um, what... <laughs> What is the ancestral blade of House Tali? A bit more detail than I would have thought, but yes, correct. <laughs> Mid thirties, friend of Jon Snow, acting hand of the queen, hand of the king, and hand of the queen. Duncan again. Who is Tyrion Lannister? Bingo, correct. Jerome Flynn, coldly. And Sugar Ross. Duncan. Mm. <laughs> Who plays Bron of the Blackwater? No, unfortunately not. That's <laughs> not correct. Ah. Oh. Which music stars have guested on Game oh, of Thrones? Right. Hear a roar is the house motto, motto, but misconception is a Lannister pays its debts. Clear. What are the words of House Lannister? Oh, perfect. Correct. And the final question of the Jeopardy round. This character, friend of Arya, was saved by Davos and has not been seen since season three. Jed. Who is Gendry? That's correct. Well, in, in lead position, Duncan with 2,800 dragons. Ugh. Clear is behind with 2,000 dragons. Then Jed is followed closely behind with 1,500 dragons. And then in final place is Hannah with 900 dragons. Okay, well, the final round would be, once again, a lightning style of 10 questions. The first is uh, first person to buzz in to give the correct answer is awarded a massive 500 dragons and with the the race being so closely knit it's fatal you get the answer in as quick as possible but also pay attention to detail because if you buzz in give the wrong answer and no one else gives the right answer then you'll lose 500 dragons how many Vassals of Kingsgrave podcasts, both cast and dragon cast episodes, have there been in total for Game of Thrones this year? Oh, and sadly, you all lose 500 dragons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. How many and was it? 14. 14. Ah. So, a, a preview episode for Dragon Cast, three oh. will cast episodes, and oh. 10 reviews for uh, Dragon Cast. Name the HBO run after show for Game of Thrones. Hannah. Oh, it's After the Thrones. That's correct. Which Oops. season six episode after the premiere has garnered the biggest reaction based on ratings, YouTube videos, etc.? There. Ooh, the door. That's correct. Which scripted show follows Game of Thrones on HBO? Uh, Hannah. Yes. I watched that show too. That's such a great show. Name one thing (laughs) that George R.R. Martin did 
which fans believe was despite the show. Claire. Oh, release the air on chapter. You've been vindicated, Claire. So release the specifically released the air on chapter directly after the King's Moot scene uh, on episode five. Right. Oh, oh hadn't That's even good. noticed that. Yeah. Which YouTube series is Maisie Williams a regular guest on? Oh, and unfortunately, you all lose 500 dragons for not answering in time. Literally, oh, the dragons I just made up. I thought we could... See, oh, so our heads are on the block no matter what we do. <laughs> I don't understand these rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting more and more inebriated as the time passes as well, so... Um, well, there's there's only about twelve questions left. Well, um, no, sorry, fourteen, fourteen questions left. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Which major character did fans believe would die this year? Who survived? Jed. Yeah. Is it Stark, stroke Lannister, stroke Bolton. Oh, congratulations! That's right. There was a popular theory that. Sansa would die and take the place of Lady Stronehart. The Tower of Joy scene in the finale has been compared to a similar scene in which a Christmas Carol adaptation. Oh, and you have all had the uh, the time elapsed, so you all lose five hundred dragons. It was that. It was a multiple choice question where I had three Christmas carols, so it may have been easier. But <laughs> it was Alice, Alice or Sims' version of a Christmas Carol from 1951. <laughs> That's so hard. Why is it? What's the yeah. connection? Well, the connection is that so Scrooge is at the deathbed of his sister, who's having her son, and her son. Um, no sorry she says to Scrooge look after my son for me promise me promise me promise me that's why uh, <laughs> I saw a funny meme where it was like Liano was like promise me you'll delete my browser history <laughs> what is officially so according to producers the reason Game of Thrones began two weeks later than all past seasons <laughs> No, unfortunately, you would all lose points, unfortunately. <laughs> so 500 dragons each. So the the answer was due to filming. So there was a lot of heavy rain Ooh. and oh. weather that delayed filming. I was going to say oh. shooting conditions, but I wouldn't thought that would be two weeks. I thought that would have all been done, like, you know, late, 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 late last year. What is the Game of Thrones convention in Ireland named? <laughs> Oh, and you all lose 500 dragons. Oh my god, we're going to be broke. <laughs> maybe, maybe we shouldn't have had that rule. Well, well. <laughs> it was Titan Con. Oh, <sighs> it's going to say something to do with Titan. I think the questions would have been easier with the multiple choice. <laughs> like, that's how yeah. that <laughs> and thank you for everyone out there that listened to today's show. So, um, And thank you to the contestants who answered briefly with their, their questions and it was a close race throughout especially with the very <laughs> deducting of points so today's winner is Claire Yay. Well, done. well done well done Claire who amassed a total of 400 dragons <laughs> <laughs> we were doing so well at one stage <laughs> At one stage, I swear, like, we all had, like, a thousand dragons. <laughs> We're rolling in at one stage. House always wins. Basically. So, uh, a breakdown of the points. You scored... Well, you don't need to go into that, no. do we? <laughs> no, <I guess> not. <laughs> not mine, anyway. We just congratulate. <laughs> Close behind was Duncan with 200 dragons, Hannah with negative 100, and Jed with negative 500. Woohoo! <laughs> so let us know out there um, if you've listened along, you know, what your score was, if you can keep up with the strange scoring system anyway. 
<laughs> if you can explain the rules to us, you get a million dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Alan Davis on QI here. <laughs> Let's see if anyone can beat my minus 500 points. <laughs> oh, this will be a nightmare to edit. <laughs> well, I reckon if you uh, condense the silences, it'll be much shorter. Um... What, is, what does Claire get as a prize? <laughs> yeah, it's a prize. Bragging rights. <laughs> Bragging rights. That's right. And she can uh, she can come back for as the returning champion. <laughs> oh. That's really good fun. Yeah, that's good. Thanks for thinking. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Guys. Yeah, must have taken ages of work. Clean oh, well yeah, done. Time. <laughs> I was watching this really fun um, clip show. Um, it was a clip from Saturday Night Live earlier today. It was from a few years ago and. That the guy from The Hangover, he was one of the contestants dressed as a dragon, and he always got annoyed because all the other questions would be Game of Thrones, but then they would ask him real life questions like real geography and real history, and he's like, I I only know about Game of Thrones, I don't know these questions. <laughs> well, th- thanks everyone for joining for the trip year round. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. And well done, Claire. I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> yes. That's the thing. Anyone could win. <laughs> Anyone could <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Good fun, anyway. I uh, look forward to podcasting with you all on another podcast. And um, Duncan, if you could send those fails <laughs> as yeah, well. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. I'll post them in the IM. <laughs> okay, bye, everyone. Alright, cheers guys, thanks a lot. God bless. See you soon. Bye now.